Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Leisure Suit Larry. So, I saved the game and I want to make sure that you guys, I want to double check to make sure. Yeah, I did, okay. Cancel, there we go. And just to show exactly what's going on with all this, because I know it's kind of convoluted the way the story is written, but we're basically going to go across a little bit. If you take a look around, funny, the entire beach is filled with men. I believe this guy even might be a thing. See, look at, they're all, I have him, cries the agent. The capitalist capitalist bourgeois, bourgeois enlisted of evil empire, shouts the KGB agent, looking ill at ease in his ill-fitted trench coat and oversized speedo. So, the KGB has recognized you, captured you, and will now take you to their headquarters for questioning and other fun stuff. <clears throat> so, that's a loss, basically. Too bad, too, since uh, you were nearing the airport. And your freedom from this resort. So, and I got grilled by the KGB because that's what's been going on basically. You're quickly taken to the local office of the KGB, or specialist on a uh, specialist in on clunk extractions, busy giving you a third degree. And so, my little white suited capitalist swine, says the KGB agent, you will now tell us the location of that on clunk. I will be forced to run these alto saxophone reeds under your fingernails until you're zinging like the bird. Things don't look good, Larry. Maybe next time a different approach would be better. Okay. So, that's a fail, but that's fine. Because I did that on purpose so you guys would see why I am doing the stuff I've got to do now. I've got to uh, head off this way instead, because going that way is obviously the wrong direction. So we're going to head off this way and check out... Woohoo! What is all this? Say, these people have no clothes on. What kind of place is this anyway? Hmm. I'm going to have to go take a look at this place. Isn't polyester comfortable? Is that naked woman talking to you? <laughs> Yeah, probably, I suppose. Can I get on out of here? No? Hello? Uh, I want to go south. Ooh, I find clothed men so appealing. Is that a naked woman talking to you? Uh, let's find out. Talk to naked woman. Oh, get closer. Okay. Talk to naked woman. Hiya, baby. You tell her my name is Larry. Larry Laffer. You new around here? Good looking? Fix this thing. Was that naked alone talking to you? Yeah, I think so. I can't tell. Oh, we're gonna keep walking this way. Trying to get past all of this stuff. It's kind of weird the way the layout is in here. Alright, well either way, I can't go any other direction, so I guess I'm going this way, and that woman just keeps on trying to hit on me. <clears throat> A whole lot of nudity back there, guys. You better be careful watching what you, uh, or, no, be careful what you're watching. All right, into the wood or into the forest. Look, this resort has lovely landscaping, but it's so dense that you cannot find anything. You wander about aimlessly, searching for a break in the vegetation and return and uh, in the vegetation to return you to civilization. Oh, oh, I'm just looking around. Okay, it's all pro pre-programmed. <laughs> Did I? Can I? Can I go back? I wanted to do stuff here. I wasn't done for that. Oh, she's lost. Look. Look at flowers. There's one beautiful flower growing directly under the parrot sitting in the palm tree. Get flower before I leave. Reach over and break off the beautiful flower at this at its base. Oh, you rationalize. They'll never miss one of these flowers. Alright, let's see. I'm so freaking lost now. <laughs> Guess I'll let him roam around aimlessly trying to figure out this forest. I am also gonna speed up the movement on here just a little bit. That's better. Oh, it doesn't seem completely pointless. 
All right. <laughs> so much weird stuff. At last you find an exit. But where does it lead? Why, you found a lovely restaurant. Wow, that took a freaking minute. Okay, so I skipped most of that for you because it's a lot of me walking back and forth and doing silly shit, coming up in the woods, coming up in the things, being chased by stuff. It was long, ridiculously long, pointless. Talk to man. Or talk to him, even. Talk to man. Tuman. Uh, excuse me, sir, you say hesitantly. I was wondering if I might get a bite to eat. Major D slowly diverts his gaze towards you. Her name, please? He asks. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Well, I suppose I could try to find a place for you on a busy schedule. He replies disdainfully. Just have a seat there in the chair while I prepare a table for you. Okay. Sit. Okay. Points for doing little things. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, there were people coming in ahead of me this whole time. Instantaneous service, you dicks. Why, Mr. and Mrs. Rich, says the Major D. What a pleasure to see you again. Of course, I have a table for you. Where's my table going to be in the fucking back? Get all the nice stuff. Put me right next to the toilets. Please walk this way. That was certainly rude. You were here first before them. Feel yourself becoming perturbed. punks i tell you every time there's a blue background man this game like does not like it it leaves my my green screen doesn't like it so if you're seeing the fuzzies that's from the blue background it's a reflection of it it's causing an effect in there i hope you find this satisfactory sir and gravels the mod gravels the mod mater d with his palm extended he doesn't know how much money i got i'm fucking rich in fact actually what do i got Inventory. A lot of dough. Is that hundreds and hundreds of dollars bills in your pocket, or are you just glad to play this game? Passport? So smart Delvin Eves can't. On clunk? If only you knew what this on clunk contains. Important international secrets. Oops. A bikini top. Don't worry. You'll never miss it. Flower. Never miss. They'll never miss one of these. Continue Oh, Ooh. Just want to make sure I still have my money. Lost a lot of the other things I had. Mostly used them. Another couple comes in. They dress just like the last one, too. What the crap? Why, well, Mr. and Mrs. Famous, says the major, major D. What a pleasure to see you again. Of course, I have a table for you. What the fuck, man? Please walk this way. That was certainly rude. You were here before them. Feel yourself becoming annoyed. Do you feel yourself becoming indignant? Do you feel yourself becoming incensed? Do you feel yourself becoming enraged? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, finally. So every one of these tables got filled up very slowly before me with different peoples like the Famouses and the Gates and Leech, like Robin Leech and so on and so forth. All right, sir, the Mater D says, burr grudgingly. I'll show you to your table. And I was just getting increasingly more angry, sure. Now that there's no tables left, where am I going to sit? Please walk this way. You think of yourself, if I walk that way, <laughs> I use talcum powder. <laughs> well, he's walking that way, kind of. Oh, boy, says the Mater D, sharply clapping his hands. Please set up a table for Mr. Laugham. Yeah, there we go. Be seated, Mr. Laffer, says the Mater D as he escapes to the kitchen. Feel free to help yourself to our appetizer bar. And, oh, yes, I almost forgot. Eat a bag of dicks, sir. <laughs> it still catches me off guard. <laughs> I forget that that's a thing. Choice location, Larry. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's go check out the bar. So we can. Shit all over these people. Fuck you, douchebags. How dare they just mistreat me? <clears throat> Look 
at bar. You see nothing. Look. An expensive linen crystal and silver weigh down the tables. An appetizer buffet fills one corner. Look at Buffett. Buffett? Buffet. <clears throat> Why, look, there's a knife lying next to the cheese plate. Take. Take knife. Maynardy did say help yourself to the buffet, but this is rather borderline behavior, Larry. Uh, okay. You sur surreptitiously slip the slicer from the serving surface and sequester it in your suit. All right, there we go. I think that's all I really needed to get here was that. Uh, I could probably sit down, but there's really no point in all of that. So I'm going to leave out of here, and I think now I don't have to deal with this stupid conflict again. We can just go ahead and leave. Let's see if you can find a shortcut. Hopefully that'll be quicker. Because otherwise we have to go through that long travel sequence yet again. <clears throat> At last you find an exit. But where does it lead? Why, you found an empty guest room. Empty guest room, okay. Look. Lalak. This room is considerably larger than your stateroom on the board of the cruise ship. It was a picture. It's a picture window overlooking the beach. There's a restroom plus a dressing area near the picture window. There's a book of complimentary matches lying on the nightstand near the table. Oh, let's just take that. Get matches. Okay. Slip a book of matches in your pocket. Gee, Larry, at least you found your match. Ha 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 ha. Yes, drum fill. Open nightstand. Can't do that at least not now. Oh, okay. Uh, hello. Talk to girl? Hello, miss, uh, my little native beauty. You tell my, my, uh, you tell her my name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Hello, sir, she smiles. I would like to help you in any way I can. Flirt with girl. <laughs> Save that shit first. She's not interested in that. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Good morning, sir. I'm your customer service representative in charge of horizontal surface uh, consistency and custodial management maintenance. I trust you are finding everything satisfactory, she asks. She says she's the maid. Now let's take a look and see if there's anything in here. Uh, nothing I need from you. Look at sink. Bowl filled with complimentary soap is near the sink. All right, all right. Okay, says the native coyly. Eat a bag of dicks, sir. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Get a bar of soap. No reason to take it. Pick up soap. Look. Oh, no. Get soap. There we go. Jeez. You grab a bowl full of tiny bars of soap and dump them into your pockets, thinking. When I get home, I can carefully wet these and glue them all together and make at least one large, regular-sized bar for a great deal. They have always been terminally cheap. All right, let's get on out of here and see where we go next. Right, you found the resort's barbershop. And another barbershop. Let's just sit down and see what this guy's going to do. Is there anything I can do, you can do for my receding hairline? You ask the barber. But of course, mister. You know, says the barber, I gotta adjust a watch of need. And just have a seat in a ch chair, please. For you, for you, today I got a special deal. He begins, I'm gonna try some of my oxidol. Oh, God, here we go. Don't you mean mino, mino oxidol? You ask? No, he says, I, I don't know what, what that is. I'm gonna rub your head with some of this liquid laundry detergent. Too late to leave now, Larry. He's got you. Well, at least I'll be beautiful. There, all set, says the barber. Now let's uh, just to uh, give you a second to work. How ridiculous you think. <laughs> just let some guy, I don't even know, pour laundry detergent on my head. Poof. Oh, luxurious locks. Wow, you exclaim. 
Not only does that stuff really work, it's fast too. I knew you'd I knew you'd uh, be delighted, responded the barber. Come back and see me any a time, Blondie. Why do you call me that? you ask. Oh no reason, he says. Okay. Oh, and yep, now I'm blonde. Oh great, he cried. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? Long luxurious blonde hair. Have a more fun, he says. Well, uh, at least my bald spot is gone, you say. Along with your self-respect, says the barber. Eat a bag of dicks, sir. Bag of dicks. <laughs> All right, let's go out into the forest one more time and see where it leads us. Okay, well, we're back here again. Let's we'll see if the new beach has changed any. Oh, and it looks like it has. Is there a way to get over there? I don't think I can access it. Say, these people have no clothes on. I want to find a place like this anyway. There's a discarded bikini bottom lying uh, that rock at the eastern edge of the sand. Okay, sweet. I think I get the idea of what I'm going to have to do. So there's only a minute that other beach, and there's no females. Get bottom. Looks a little small for you, but what the heck. Bam. I think that's everything that I need, because now we can look like a girl and possibly get past the guards. So now that we've collected everything and gone through what's pretty much a full sex change here, let's go ahead and uh, end this episode here and uh, do all of that on the next one see where that leads us. I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and um, hit that notification bell. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Hey, fellow Asians. Don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.